Have you ever built a project and gotten so far into the steps that you've had to back up because the instructions by the manufacturer weren't as clear as they thought they were? In today's video, I'm going to help you build a swing. We purchased a swing for our children from Sam's Club. Here I have the parts for the swing all spread out so that I can easily find what I'm looking for. And let's get right to it, shall we? Here I'm trying to put the bar in through a hole. I'm only doing this to show you that there's an easier way to do it. You just unvelcro the strap. Once you lift up that flap of material, it will be so much easier to get the bar with the styrofoam into position in that tunnel system that's been provided. Here's another useful tip. Make sure you put the L-bend pieces on the side that has the label and then the complete opposite side. Your next useful tip is to get the slightly curved bar in place with the holes lined up to the L bracket. I find assembly to be a lot easier if you attach one of the corners to keep the pieces from twisting as you're assembling the frame. To do that, you'll want the wrench out of that packaging with the carabiner hook. Use the wrench to help you disconnect the bolt. Once it looks like this, slide the pin into position and then take these pieces and reconnect them to the pin that you just took them off of. Here's another useful tip. Make sure you fold over that blue Velcro strap so that you can put the pin in place in the bar. This is your reminder to make sure that the L-Bend piece is on the side that has the brand labeling and on the complete opposite side. With this build, I noticed that the rope connects in a particular way at the top, so you want to make sure that you don't have the ropes crossed. I'm pointing it out right here. This would be a problem if it were crossed. So take the opportunity to stretch that rope out really far so that you can make sure that the lines are flat, that the piece at the top isn't tangled and twisted when you put the pins in the holes. Once you've assembled the frame, it's time to put that tent piece on. Here it is folded out, and again, I like to make our lives easy. Feed both sets of rope up through the top portion of the tent. That is the green section. You see in a second, I'm going to poke my hand through. That's the top section. I found this part easier to use my partner. They're tall. They were able to hold it up. And here you see I'm starting to secure the bottom. And that was a big no-no on my part. I should have at least looked before tightening. If when you're assembling and you cinch it, if it ends up being the corner, it's in the wrong spot. To make this step easier, make sure that cinch strap is in the middle of your frame. A good rule of thumb is to see the label on the mat. And if you want to go for assembly bonus points, make sure that tent opening is on the side of the label. That way when one of your friends asks what brand that is, you can tell them without having to search. Now that you've knocked out the assembly, it's time to go out and have some fun. Here you see my family trying it out. Babe, you just asked me. Stress test part one. Stre yeah. You just said, like, how much does it hold? And I told you, and you look really nervous. Oh, you're talking about? I'm in a tent. Woo! Honey, spin me. You want me to spin you? You just spun yourself. Here we go. I'm not going to be mean and do a spin like what Lexi would do. Please do not. It's going to make that noise. It's going to make that noise because it doesn't like... <laughs> oh, it's scary. <laughs> Money well spent. Oh my goodness. Let's go uh, let the kids know it's out here. Here and Meyer. Aww. That, that's us. Don't do it. Test pilot s'mores. Don't do it. Me. No, no, we Just don't do that. Nope. <laughs> we oh, don't she, do that. I <laughs> tummy. I was like, she was sick all night long and we don't spin dogs. Hi, baby. Do you like it? It's the best toy ever. <laughs> You're not putting pepper in there. This is test pilot number two. Do you consent to be a test pilot? No. Yes. <laughs> no. Leave Pepper alone. Come on out, Pepper. He's going to shoot, babe. I went out to go check on it. Can I try it? Yeah. Yeah, Dad's going to have the chicken poop in there. Pepper out of there. Sorry, buddy. You gonna read to Pepper? It's supposed to be a reading tent instead of it's a chicken cuddle tent. You know what? Pepper's gonna poop in there. He's gonna get scared. Scared poopless. You like it? Uh, come on, Pepper doesn't like it. Let him out. 
Yeah, let's sleep in here. Yeah, it's not you can't. Sleep it's sleep not. In. It's not big enough to sleep in. We're sleeping. No matter what. Guys ready? One, two, little spin. Oh. Wait, spin me a lot. No. No. Why? Because that's not what this is. It's a relaxation time. It's okay if it twists and spins, but it's yeah, not for spinning. Spin. You Mom, can, oh, can there's windows. Why can't we sleep in here? Read books in there. <laughs> Wait, yeah. can we close this? It does. Yes. Yeah. Right. Can, I, can we sleep we in here? No, you can't sleep. Why? If I, if we could, Why? I would close it and then I would like sleep. Why can't we sleep in here? It's not, it's not it's big enough for you to lay in. For a full camera and a full Alexis. But can it fit one camera? No. Can it fit one Alexis? Not to sleep. Yes, it can, Dad. We're sleeping out here. We'll all right. You're all closed in. Cameron, said you're all closed in. Cameron's big old nag and leaning on it. Cameron, it doesn't hold you up. It Cameron, doesn't you hold can't you up. Lean against the sides. It doesn't hold you guys up. You mean it can't? You can't stand? It will rip. You don't lean on the sides. Okay. Can we stand? No. <laughs> it's just a little tiny canopy for privacy, keeping the mosquitoes away. You don't have to worry about mosquitoes while you're in there. Wait, no, yeah, we do. Not a lot, because you got netting. They got one little way they can get in. So that's very little. So we can sleep in here. You can try. I gave up with him. I gave up with him. I'll sleep. Yay, let's yeah. sleep. I'm going to bring up. What do you guys think? It's amazing. Ten it's amazing. Ten. Ten it's better out of ten. than our other time. This is our new house. Your new house? We live here now. The pets, my, our pets are now the chickens. And so either way, I love the chickens. <laughs> here, 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 here. You goofy kids. Oh. My head can pop out. Dad. It's not meant to hold you up. Don't expect that it will. It's literally Velcro. Dad. Dad. <laughs> He's got s'mores. No, s'mores does not spin in there. Okay, no spinning. I, my head is popping out. No spinning. Dad, it's 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 spinning. Pretty cool. Very cool. Sam's Club for the win. Mm -hmm. I know my kids gave it a 10 out of 10. I personally, being the mom, give it an 8 out of 10. I gave it an 8 out of 10 because I really do wish that the size of the swing frame would have been larger. Yes, it holds up to 250 pounds, but I would have liked to have seen it hold two kids at the same time more than one really big person. And the other reason is because the tent popped a stitch. I'm not surprised though. My kids are kind of rough on things. Will I take it back for um, a fault like that? No, absolutely not. We definitely will be getting our money's worth out of it. Uh, my kids will love to be playing out in the backyard, listening to the wildlife. I'm sure you can hear the owl somewhere in the background hooting away. Thanks for watching and I hope my assembly tips help your process go smoothly.